So it's Motherhood Monday and I have chosen the path of getting fit and as I discussed the roadblock is a rather large bust getting in the way whilst I am do doing physical activity aka exercises to progress into several fitness levels. I finally got a breast reduction consultation with a doctor, but unfortunately I am three stone overweight and it's just a catch-22 really. The bigger, the more weight I put on, the bigger my boobs get and the more need for a reduction. So it's really shit. But the one good thing is I'm going to get to talk to the doctor about food groups and dietary requirements and how to safely lose weight before an operation. And finally, the NHS have given me the opportunity to, 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 to at least discuss a breast reduction. And I am just psyched about it. I'm just so excited about the thought of having C-cup regular boobs. That's what I'm working to. And I believe that um, there's you can only go down like three cup sizes or something like that. So I'm going to have to have several breast reductions. And at this point, I don't care about the loss of nipples or the scarring. But there is a bit of pre-guilt, pre-motherhood of breastfeeding. And obviously, I'm an eczema sufferer. So I'm just wondering if I have a baby and I don't breastfeed my baby, will that affect infant eczema the chances of getting infant eczema so i've now got to do a little bit of research on how to um combat in infant eczema without breastfeeding so that is a discussion i would love to have with women who have done this whether you've had a breast reduction before getting having your first pregnancy that'd be great to get in contact with me and discuss the pitfalls and the pros and cons of what happened when it came to breastfeeding. I mean, even if you're an eczema sufferer, that'd be fantastic to find out more about how you stopped your children suffering from eczema. The Instagram story on the latest motherhood photo and guess what's in the bag relating to motherhood. <laughs>